What's up guys, we're back here, and we're jumping back into some Slay the Spire. So, we're doing some modded, um, been a little bit, a little bit of a break I've, I've taken here, um, I'll talk about it maybe a little bit later. I'm actually pre-recording these before they'll come out, trying to do a big backlog while I have some free time. Um, anyway, so, we're back into Slay the Spire modded, I've been really enjoying it, but I hadn't taken a look at the workshop in a while. And so I went in. I know there's some mods and stuff we weren't using. Is there not a scroll bar? Just, can I not scroll here? Like, I cannot. Uh, okay. Like, I wanted to click. Okay. Anyway, um, I had some new mods. And I took out the, like, the Magi, the, the magician y dude that we never played, because um, it was just too much for me. Um, I added Infinite Spire, which I should have already had in, because it adds so much to the game, even if we don't play Infinite Mode. It just is a like a pretty much a big expansion for the game. Mimic mod, I thought that'd be fun. A little bit of a chance to get a mimic. Uh, might add a little bit of things. The animator is a new character. I thought he looked interesting. Or she, I think this is a a character that's more of a uh, like this is all based on anime stuff. Which I'm curious if I'll see anything I recognize. Um, but what I liked is adds a new act. Bunch of cards and a bunch of relics. So, I figured we'll give it a shot. Bug Knight character. I uh, thought this would be fun. I've seen it played a little bit. So, I'm kind of curious, you know, what we can do with it. The Judge, another character. And then Vex mod, which is just a content mod. So, we'll see what this does. Uh, I'm going to abandon whatever run this is because I don't know. Off the top of my head. All right, standard, we are going to go in. So, we'll look at these ones. Got the Mime. Oh, animator, this is from, uh, what is this from? I'm not actually 100% sure. It looks familiar. In my head, I want to say Soul Eater, but that's not right. Not even a little bit. But I think I have this as a background <laughs> on my computer. Um, so she starts with, so she has three starting relics. That's kind of interesting. Uh, living picture, once per turn. When I card synergies, draw one card. Uh, synergy is a card if the card previous place was from the same series or oh gosh it's gonna be rough purging stone okay I might have to try this one off camera there's a lot going on here bug knight this is from hollow knight of course if you do not know so game one soul each time you play an attack card and that is the knight's mask and then the judge black diamond Every three comma, choose one curse card to add to your deck. Can be skipped. Combat gain judgment. Not sure what that is. Anyway, we're going to start with the Ironclad, of course. Um, we might skip the Mime and try one of the new ones. So, we'll see. Okay, random encounter. Two basic cards. Obtain a random rare relic. That could be good. An additional starter relic. Ooh. I think we did this, though, and it made our game crash at one point, though. Um, I think I want the additional starter relic, but I think it might crash our game. All right, so nostalgia gave us <laughs> this is from that character I just said we didn't know. Every four comics receive improved card rewards. You will have four chances. A series of cards in that series. Interesting. Okay, well, better rewards from the missing piece. We'll see what it does. All right, I want to go through some question mark rooms. Maybe go up to this elite. We'll start here. So I mentioned I was taking, I ha or I have been, uh, well, block twice, uh, taking a little bit of a hiatus. Currently today is like mid to late December, um, with the holidays coming up. Uh, you know, all that. I'm not gonna be posting. Not gonna have time to record. Um, but I've been just kind of, I kind of took a break. I like kind of drove myself into the ground right there at, you know, a little ways back. Uh, so I took a break just to kind of figure out what the crap I was doing. And then the other day I just kind of, you know, was like, I need to get back on what I was doing because I enjoy doing YouTube. It's just getting the time and motivation. Uh, I think I'm going to switch up how I do my recording record more at night because I've been was recording in the morning 
um, before work, and it was making me later to work, and it was just like, shouldn't be doing that. Um, so I'm going to try recording at night. It's actually it's 1040 right now. Um, I'm just starting a recording session, but I want to build up a backlog so I can schedule out some videos and keep them consistent. Because that's, you know, if I want to put out content, I want it to be consistent, good content. Anyway, one of the things that we see here, um, part of, I think this one's from Play the Spire, quest log. Um, we get a bunch of quests. You complete them, you get uh, these void shards, which you need to buy stuff. So if we get perfected strike, uh, we'll complete a quest. So we'll do that. Perfected strike is a good card. And I wanted to, oh, we got to gain. Oh, pick up three. Oh, yeah, we got the per Why are you not? I have a perfected strike, though. You're killing me, game. Oh, well. Uh, yeah, we'll take the relic. Tag a model at the start of combat. Add one random card, which exhausts to your hand. Cost zero. It is cost is zero until played. Oh, impervious. <laughs> well, thank you. Um, let's go with. I think I want to do this. Get the most damage out here. I think we'll do that and this. So next turn we can hopefully kill the slime. If we get three attacks, we can kill them both right off. Um. Do that. Okay. Let's see. And then easy peasy. So I am out of practice. I hadn't been playing um, this game that much here recently. I've been back in the Rim World, which I think is going to be another series I'm going to bring back. I think I'm going to restart it. Um, there's just a lot like I've messed up with the series. Uh, lose 9 HP and 4 block. No, I think we'll go with the Strike from Hell because that's Strike in the name. Perfected Strike. Uh, I think I'm going to take out Magic. There's a lot of stuff I'm going to change with it. But that, and I haven't been playing this game because of that. Lose Bash, lose Burning Blood, Iron Core. Actually, I really like Iron Core. And upgrade a random card. Because Iron Core gives you a bunch of strength. And then Self Repair is just a good heal, like as a replacement for Burning Blood. Let's take it. So Iron Core is, yeah, it's add Channel 1 Hellfire. And we can get certain uh, red cards. Okay. And Hellfire. Oh, uh, Hellfire's like if you don't have any orb starts to slot with. Any orb slots to start with. I can't talk. Um, then it gives you a bunch of them, I think, is the, the idea behind it. All right, I can kill one of them. So they're both doing the same amount. You're dead. Keeps me from having to take too much damage. And then we'll get 10 back. Strike from hell, those 12, you're out of here. So we didn't really get to see gain two or strikes if you have none, or channel one hellfire. Ha 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 ha. Hellfire, start your turn, gain plus two strength at the end of your turn. But how, I'm not sure how that's working yet. Gain piercing for the rest, ignores blocks when dealing damage, eh. I think we're just gonna go with another perfected strike. Now it counts. Oh, no, it counted this one. Why are you not counting, man? You, I'm, I'm taking these strike cards for you. All right, let's see. Ooh, Impervious will be good in the deck. We're going to do that for now. And even though both perfected strikes are in hand, I think we'll pass through. The card is exhausted. Yeah. Or I could just deal damage. No, I think I'll pass through and get back to him. I don't think I have much to set up, per se. I can set up the bash, which is the vulnerability, actually. It's pretty good. And then now we should start laying him into him this turn, I think. Before we lose the vulnerability and before we lose, uh, uh actually it's just a vulnerability because we'll come back, we should come back now into the perfected strikes. I am going to just eat this damage from the regret and from the log of Ulan, but it shouldn't be too bad. I am going to eat it again this turn, which is going to suck. He has regen. But I should be able to, of course, the turn I get the uh, impervious, he's not attacking. But we'll get him next turn. That's twice we've got impervious, which is kind of interesting because it's a very, very good card. And he's dead. Ooh, fun fungus. If you have leftover energy at the end of your turn, heal that much HP at the start of your next. Okay. Then we got Emerald Key. All right, so these are the extra stuff from the uh, missing piece. No game, no life. 
uh, only contains cards with this synergy. Click on this. The two other card, the other rewards will disappear. Okay. Uh, gate. So may, I think these are the series because it mentions up here. Uh, you have, you will have more chances of finding cards in series if you have multiple cards. So this is from No Game No Life, which is I thought a movie, which I actually just watched. In Gate, I know what it is, like I've heard of it, but I've not watched all of it. So we're gonna go No Game No Life. No cards here, awesome. I can't choose anything. So that might have been a bust. It might not work. Which is fine if it, if it doesn't. We took the gamble. There's a lot of mods going on here. From your draw pile into your hand. Is there anything in my draw pile I really want? Not really. So we will just go for raw, unadulterated damage. Okay, dude. You're going to get beat up. Um, I guess actually we should block and try to kill next turn. Save just a little bit. We're not healing as much. Maybe we can get the... Uh, yeah, the self repair out. But now I don't think we. Oh, we can kill. I was about to say, I don't think we can kill now, but we can. Uh, pummel strike? Yes. I'm trying just to really uh, add up these strikes. I'm still mad that we have not earned that perfected strike uh, achievement. Not achievement, uh, reward. Is what is that? Boom, from your exile pile in your hand. Okay. Uh, he's doing 10 damage, which I really don't want to take. I don't want to draw either, though, because I might draw past my perfect strikes. Which I think I would have drawn into, but I'm going to kind of got into one here. Six more damage or wait till next turn. Wait. We'll take five more. Hopefully we'll get self-repair again. We go with bash and kill him next turn. Because even I think we can even if we need to, we can use the draw potion to get him. But we should... Yeah, we got him. I say we might need the perfected strike to do it, but... Two strikes does it. Gold back. Fear potion. Ooh, demonic infusion. I've been tr I've been wanting to use this more. We tried doing it with anger, and it didn't work. But it's such a good, like, interesting card. I'm gonna take it. I don't have a plan for it yet, but it's more like setting up the pieces for something fun. So memory locket from Vex mod. At the end of your first turn, retain your hand. Okay. So okay. I mean, I. Don't know exactly how this will be useful for us currently, but it's something. Oh gosh. Loose fire exhaust card for me. Ooh. Demonic infusion this? I don't know what that does. But I'm definitely gonna purge something. I guess it'd be a defend. Because we want to keep the strikes in our deck. Okay, we'll do that. And we will get rid of defend. And this is gone. Okay, so what do we do? We'll refund one. So I guess I'd rather do the pommel strike. So demonic infusion pommel strike does 10 damage and draws two cards. So it doesn't get that much better. Plus three, so 12 damage, draw four cards. Okay. Ooh, that's kind of cool. I was trying to think of what to do that on. This side's going to hurt us. We don't have a lot of AOE damage. Oh, and we retained her first hand. Um, okay. Oh, and that regret's gonna fudge us up really bad. Crap. Um, I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to block. Like, that regret, yeah, did 8 damage to us, plus the 18 here. What are we in a bad way? Like, as fun as this has been, uh... 9 more damage we're gonna take, unless I use a speed potion. Let's do this to see if we can get... freaking regret again. Gosh dang it. Regret might kill us. Because, yeah, we're... Next turn, we have to kill him and then block for this one. And we will not... Oh, we will... Be exactly dead. We tried. We'll get back into it, though. Play. Ironclad once again. Ascension level 1. We won't get the reward again. I need to turn on... I think it's called Always Whale. Is a mod I can get. Because we do die a lot. Just fiddling around here. So we're going to go for this elite and this elite. And try to knock out two elites. Chance we could do it. It's a, not a high chance. But either way. It's still pretty good. Uh, pretty good like attempt. Languid and decrepit. So languid. 
to deal one less attack damage per stack and then fire so for one extra damage from attacks I like it it's interesting uh, but iron wave will get us some more more shards um I think I like iron wave just like just like iron wave anyway it's just a good like all around card all right remove a card obtain a relic should paint the relic war paint awesome that's two upgrades right there two like you know the defense aren't that great but I'll take them I'll take the regret again you complete a quest obtain a new one ooh tome of questing interesting oh obtain a black black cards are ridiculous I'll give the blood okay so these are black cards they're like really powerful cards you only get through like either events or by paying the void shards all right innate replay every card you played this combat and then purge and this card until the end of combat does not go in your exhaust pile gain three blocks five times not as good for the ironclad black plague draw two cards apply four poison apply four necrotic oh Play, creates two new cards have the cost and effects I like the black plague that sounds awesome because then it'd be one for draw one card two poison two necrotic two linger and two decrepit let's try that it sounds interesting at least I don't know what will happen once you play it four times but uh I'm definitely game so okay it's only the one enemy is something to keep in mind I thought it would be to both of them so that, that's the thing uh, I think another iron wave it's a good card so we'll get him we won't get the next one though hi boys actually we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna take some some damage from regret regrets to such a pain slowly killing me on the inside I re regret taking it but not really okay more key energy and carnage anger or charge anger could be interesting with the um, decrepit because we could play them and it does damage per the amount but carnage is just so much damage it's so, it can like help you power through an elite really well lose carnage or upgrade carnage upgrading it I just picked it up so I'm not gonna lose it okay I think is this the turn I open on uh, no We'll give it a minute. I think I want to play the Black Plague first and let it circulate. Circulate. Well, I can. I have to play. I can't play it this turn. I have to play Carnage. So we have to wake him, and we have to hit him again. Uh, Carnage would have exhausted if I wouldn't have played it, which sucks. But it is a thing. And we'll do that. Not bad. I could have played both the strikes out and got a little bit more damage out, but I think better uses for our damage. Um, let's take. 10 instead of dealing five more damage i think we're pretty good on the damage front itself okay so two more black plagues and then yeah he's gonna take a ton of damage because that's just the poisons 12 damage for two plus the less damage we're taking from him and the additional damage so it's pretty good i like it it's a fun little card hidden compartment the start of each combat remove a card from your draw pile the first time you shuffle your draw pile add that card into your hand so pretty much you're putting it like at the bottom of the deck pretty much from your draw pile the first time you should yeah pretty much it's like on the last card in your deck even if you no, unless you shuffle sooner I don't know if you have there's cards to shuffle Each time you play this card permanently increases by two I like all for one got all might right there I think we'll take it it's early enough where I think it's kind of worth it Ooh, Mimic. Oh, I can put a card on the bottom. Freaking put Regret down there. Get it out of my hand. Alright, Black Plague. Get that in there. Oh, I can't play all for one. Why? Oh, I can't play attacks yet. Crap. Been a good time to play it right there. Alright, he's gonna start taking poison, but he's already, like, he gained artifacting, but... Why should I really <laughs> care about his artifacting now that he has all the effects stacked on him? He negated an effect. 
Not sure what that effect was. All right, so now that's in my hand, but if I can kill him here, which I can, I don't take that. Okay, I can see how that hidden compartment's good. Uh, Lucky Rock, each time you play an attack, you have a 5% chance to gain critical, which I'm assuming critical is double damage. If I'm basing it off of uh, D and D, team damage. Um, take a shrug. I'm taking a lot of cards, which I don't probably don't need to. Uh, all for ones is going to increase it faster, which is going to be good if we plan on using it. All right, let's keep going through elites. All right, regret to the bottom. Oh, this is one from the Hollow Knight mod. All right, so I want to go ahead and play the all for one, just to get it. We won't draw it again. It's not very powerful yet, so we just kind of want to make sure we play it. I think I'm going to do Black Plague. Do that to him. Uh, there's nothing I'm really interested on drawing. I wish I would have got a, like, a Iron Wave, but I don't really want to take the 4 damage. I'm not sure what he does. Okay, so he made a little a little boy. Um, do I really want to keep stacking this on him right now? Not sure that I do. I think I want to hit him to get rid of his thing and play Carnage. I think that's going to be my best move. Right, I'm going to take it a little bit. It's going to hurt. I'm just afraid he'll yeah he'll put out another boy if I'm not careful. All right, so I want to kill him if I can. Seven, yes. That one's dead. And then we're going to hit him. So that's a Moss Knight. I didn't even look what his name was when we started fighting him. Okay, he went into Barricade, so he gained a bunch of blocks, and he does not lose it. So, Black Plague, it's a good time to play it. We got some more. Oh, and there's zero cost now. I guess maybe they'll exhaust next. Okay. Let the poison keep hurting him. Oh, and he heals. Ooh, I don't like that. But, doesn't matter. That Carnage was a good pickup. Dreamcatcher, whenever he rests, we can add another card to the deck. Um, Dark Embrace, eh, we don't exhaust that much. And damage if it kills an enemy. Stays in your hand, cause zero. No, I don't think any of those. Take the void chart though. Keep going up our path. And regret to the bottom. Okay. So one of the things we want to remember to do here. I want to do this. I can't kill him. I really don't want to take any. Let's do shrug. Yeah, I want to strike. But I say I really don't want to take any damage. So why should I? When we have so many defenses, like defense in our hand. Yeah, the main thing is we want to play the all for one. Because we, we're starting to try to get it leveled up. Let me look at something. All for one. Does it exhaust? It does exhaust. We zoom. We can exhaust it and bring it back. I think so. Because I think we're going to build that three skills at two void shards. All right. All right, we'll take a rest here. I think we want to upgrade this. To make it a zero. It's going to be useless until we get to like use it. It's going to be very, uh, what's the word? Not selective, but the use case is very limited to start with. Until we get some more exhaust cards. Uh, I think we'll shrug. Iron Wave again. Good little like one, two. I should have hit the Lao some more. It's okay though. Boom. And then we'll defend. Now, the Exhum did exhaust back around, which kind of sucks. All for one, defend, strike him. So we need to get back to the Exhum. Get the all for one back. Exhum, all for one. Hit him again. Iron wave. Strike. Just kind of get some of the cards in my hand. Take three, then we'll kill him next turn. So that way we got two uses of all for one in one turn, so it goes up by six. Or one combat. AoE? I think so. At least one. Can't hurt. Black Plague, what do you go up to? Three, six, six, okay. I like it. The Decrept is pretty good. Now, I don't know what this boss is. So this is Dagger Pharaoh. Interesting, okay. I can't do both of these, so we'll do Carnage just to beat the crap out of you. And then we'll see. All right, so he summons a dagger. Ooh, those things aren't good. The AOE we picked up actually could come in handy pretty well. And we got the next attack you play will deal two times. Does it only last one turn or can I wait? Oh, you can use it whenever. Ooh. 
All right, so the next stack will kill. So this is kind of a crappy way to do this, but I think I'm gonna kill the dagger, get the block, all for one, exhume the all for one, hit him again. Okay. Because I don't need a rust just, dude. Like the critical would have been great, but why? Like why worry about it? Um, 14 damage. I can only gain six, I'm frail, so. Let's go ahead and we'll take advantage of the vulnerability. Ow. This dude doesn't really play around. He reminds me of the the book of stabbing in his attacks, except he also summons these freaking daggers that do a lot of damage, actually. 28, get that out of here. Iron wave. Oh, we're out of, out of energy. But we need to keep the carnage coming. All right, let's go ahead and black plague. I think that'll be good for him. And then we will iron wave. Do a little bit of extra damage. Now, does this... Because I know it's five more, like six, but it does 11. Oh, it's, it stacks. I thought it would do one extra damage. But no, it does five extra damage as it decreases. Ooh, that's even better than I was expecting. And you're dead. That was a bad boss. It was pretty cool. I like the art on him. Three new quests. Gold. Tech potion. Ooh. Uh, I think I actually kind of... We'll lose the vulnerability for the attack. Attack can get you out of a pickle. Okay, Berserk. Eh, not that great. It's okay, but not great. Juggernaut, no. Deal 12 damage. Deal 12 damage. Damage is multiplied by 125% for each. For each vulnerability. Vulnerable? It's odd. I don't think... It's that good. If it add, added vulnerability as it did it, maybe, but I don't think so. Uh, Sweet Flower, less map information for energy. And the sickness, uh, gain energy at the start of your turn. Start of each kind of shuffle off a virus into your draw pile. I think viruses are pretty bad. Whenever you play an attack, lose one decks. Ooh, these are all pretty bad. How bad do I want the energy? I think we'll take Sweet Flower, I guess. Or do we go with the virus? We'll try the virus. I'm not like, I don't think they're that bad, but I don't think they're that good. We will go into the city. I'm not super confident yet. Look at our new quest. But I think I want the map information to keep hitting. Why is there an elite shop? Now I have to go to that. No uh, ifs, ands, or buts. I don't know why it was telling me. I think it was because defeat Captain Ape is what it was trying to inform me of. So I can remove all your your uh, artifacting and still have stuff to spare. We will carnage you. And that's all. The four energy will come in handy here. So virus, whenever you... Draw this card out of copy. Okay, so we just can't let our fights really like lag on too much. We really need to put the damage to them, which is fine. Thunderclap for vulnerability, but with the all for ones, I think we can do that. Five max. Uh, so I gotta pick one. I don't need another curse. Like I'm hoping the shop I can remove my freaking regret. Uh, lose war paint. Yeah. Because it doesn't do anything now. So we got Nolos, uh, Nolos Gift. Uh, we have a higher chance of finding rare stuff. Pretty good. Regret to the bottom. Alright. Black Plague. Alright, we got not exactly what I wanted. Um, I think I'll go for the straight up bash. The goal would have been not to get Exhume or to get All for One. Either one of those would have been better. And we still didn't draw it, which is kind of crappy. I need a way to guarantee it higher up in my opening hand. Because it's kind of like our our scaling. Well, oh, crap. I don't really want to... Yeah, I want to give him another turn. He's on 1 HP, all front. Yes. Perfect. Uh, I don't think I need the time travel potion. Regret? Eh, not really. I don't like any of those. 
Our deck's already kind of fat, so I don't really want to add more to the deck if I can. Okay, we'll bash him. We'll strike him. We'll strike him. Tons of damage. We keep getting exhum like really early, which is not necessarily what we want. All right, we got the viruses. Iron wave that. I guess the rest of these are kind of. I can play one more. We'll do another iron wave. Just keep us defended. No reason to take damage. All for one. Son of a gun. You really don't like giving me the cards I need. I'll wait for it though. I'll do it. There it is. All for one. And exhum. We might can play them both. Oh, it's, no, it's not going to matter. All for one, too powerful already. We're getting so many potions. I need to play some potions. Uh, double tap. Yeah, that works with all for one. Elite. Go to the bottom. I guess I could send Exhum to the bottom. Alright, so we're going to do Double Tap, Iron Wave to do, so it'll be 10 damage. Um, We'll get rid of the Fat Gremlin, I guess. And give the vulnerability to him. That's fine. Still plenty of defense, and he's not. he might attack this turn there, which could hurt. Oh boy, this is a bad hand. Alright. Carnage kills you. All for one kills you. Exhum. All for one. Turn's still gonna hurt like a mother. Drink. Do I, can I get like an iron wave? No, I can get a pommel. Pommel's good. Just do a little bit of damage to him. I was hoping for something that with like a little defensive capability. Didn't really happen. Okay. Um, Cleaves, not really what we wanted right there, but it's fine. We got all the statuses on him now. Finally drew up the virus. Thunderclap. Iron wave. I can't. Oh, I can kill him. You're dead. Um, I'm going to focus on him now. Keep all this, like, bad stuff on him. Crap, the carnage. That sucks. Because I can't exhume the carnage anymore. It's very used our thing, but I think we're good. Well, yeah, we'll double tap. This. We'll kill him. Yeah, and then he'll run away. Fine and dandy. We did lose a little bit of health, but uh, it's fine. Runic, runic dodecahedron. Um, if we have full HP, we get more energy, which we don't. Um, I'm not, like, disappointed with Cleave right now. But I don't think we need more cards. We got a 21-card deck. So, oh, it's one of these shops. Okay, we can't really do much with it. But the idea is you spin your Void Shards to get... Different cards. So this is a random relic for three. Remove a card for two. That might be worth. Um, let's check these up. 15 block, deal 15 damage, seven walls. Um, the next attack you play stuns an enemy for one turn. Hmm. Okay, I can't see what this one is. Hall, zero. Draw your entire draw pile. You cannot draw any more cards this turn. Okay. One intangible. Ah, uh, then they're all eight. And there's like some stuff in here. Runic cube. I'm thinking, let's remove a card. Regret, you're killing me. <laughs> um, seven. These all could be like good in their own ways, but I think I'll go with just the random relic. Um, just to see what it is. Click it. Decrease this turn's base debuff. Increase all enemies by one. Okay. Once per combat. So that's fine. I mean, it's not like great, but it's fine. All right, update body text guy. He's telling me to upgrade my body text. Upgrade body text, upgrade body text, upgrade body text. I want to upgrade. I'm thinking the double tap. I got that rainbow text now. Okay, Ollie Smooth Stone, it's one dex. Pretty good. Do I go for the nightmare? Huh, because I'd like to go for this elite. I think we have enough health to really swing it. Could also go for a shop. I think I'll swing a little bit on the safer and avoid the nightmare and go for the shop. So what do I want to put on the bottom now? Ugh. Um. I think the exhum. I always want it to be farther away than the uh, all for one. I've not really been getting that. Well, shit. Oh, he's only doing four damage now. So, well, yeah, we'll carnage him. About to say. I was... 
like uh, not expecting to draw the card we did. And that's it. All for one's up to 40, which is not crazy, but it's pretty good. Uh, turn, retain up to two cards. One, le one less energy next turn. No. None of these are that great. Rage could be good, but I think I will continue. All right, shop. Oh, another all for one's too late for it, but it, it's funny. Uh, you're immune to debuffs from enemies? Okay. Eh, retain, eh. I think that's the best one here. I'm trying to think. If these were better, I would almost try to take, like, perhaps steal from them. I could just buy the rug. This rug's pretty good. I don't think I need it right now, though. Like, I think we'll go remove a basic strike, because it's just bad. We will buy the champion shield, just to have it, and then we'll leave. Got more if we want to see another shop, and we can, uh, you know, have that for later. Exhumed to the bottom. Another mimic. Okay, so we're entangled, so we cannot attack on the first turn. Which is fine. If we would have got something like all for one in the first turn, I'd have been a little more peeved, but fine. Carnage, yeah, like, we can really hurt this dude. Six damage here. He has such random stuff, too, which I love. So this is considered a skill. So double tap. We'll do the double strikes here. And then defend up. Could have cast Black Plague, but no reason to. Um, I think I just want to, like, shrug. Get that defense. A random card in your hand. I don't think I need that. I think I want to play defensive and just get back to my exhume. Which will be in the shuffle. And we will exhume all for one. And we'll play it. Easy enough. Uh, another Iron Wave? I think so. I like Iron Wave. It's a good card. Uh, zoom to the bottom. Three Iron Waves in our opening hand. I mean, that's our defense, but I'm going to do this to you. Yeah, that's a pretty good one. We're going to double tap this. And just because I can't... No, I'd rather say that. Let's play the skill potion. Um, ba -dum, ba -dum, bum, bum. Do that to you. So no damage coming in. I wanted to kind of hit the bird and knock him down. Also, I just kind of wanted to free, free up a potion slot. Okay, all for one kills you. Carnage hurts you. And then we'll strike you. So if we can get back around to Exhum, we'll be good and dandy. Um, Thunderclap, Shrug, Defend. Shouldn't be playing more cards if I don't have to, actually. Alright, here's our Shuffle. Here's our Exhum. Here's our All for One. I could get back Black Plague and really fill our deck up with it. Um, no, none of these. I'm kind of getting picky on what I need to pick up. There's no reason to pick up certain things anymore. Oh, opening hand. Let's get that Thunder. And we will 75 damage with that vulnerability. Okay. It's definitely a thing. I don't think we'll get back to Exhum this turn. Because if we get Carnage, I think, yeah. Oh, actually, with his defense, it made it a little, a little harder. Oh, I should have played the defend over that strike. Would have made way more sense. Get his attack down. Then we will double tap the Iron Wave. And kill him. I feel pretty strong. I'm liking this. One decrepit. One damage three times. Uh, does it apply for each time though? I don't think so. If it did, I would be tempted. I did bump the mic. I'm sorry. Uh, I don't think we need to rest. I think we'll go with the upgraded Thunderclap. Ow, I thought I added more vulnerable. My bad. Not as good as I thought I was. Alright, now one thing we need to keep in mind... Is that we also want to hit the start hurting the fish? So like as much even though we can do a sizable amount of damage to him, um, the fish also needs to be damaged. All right, he's up here now. Fifty six, he's done. Black plague on you, keep you from doing damage to me. Awesome. I don't know if he'll get rid of his things. Yeah, he's gonna heal them both. So where's my all for one? Is 100 damage to you? 100 something. And we will 
defend up. I think he does most of the damage, while the pirate's just kind of like the cake topper. If I remember right. It's definitely uh, only a theory, because I don't really remember. But I want to kill him right out. And then I'll kill Captain Abe. Uh, aggressive. I don't know what that means. I kind of want to kill... Uh, I think I'll do that. I think we will play this to him now. And then, yeah, the viruses are also going to start multiplying, which I need to keep in mind. So I think this is our second pass-through of them. So there's, what, four in the deck? They have doubled. All right. Um, double tap. Let's do thunderclap. Pondfish is dead. And then Abe's dead. Awesome. And I got, for killing Abe... Abe's Evil Pickle. I'm assuming it's a reference to Rick and Morty. 6.5% interest on my gold. Interesting. Um, oh, I was about to say, what's going on? <laughs> Quest log, 100 gold. Immolate, uh, out of burn. Stun one enemy. Ooh, stunning's good, but not for a three cost. Our deck's already, like, efficient enough. Remove five cards from your deck. That's, that's pretty spicy. I think I'm gonna do it. One, two, three. I think I'll remove two defense or five. And we get to pick two curses. When drawn, raise the cost of random card of your hand by one. Eh. Lose all max energy. Ooh, I don't know what that means. I think we'll take common cold and shame. I don't think Frail's gonna bother us. Uh, I'm definitely not going to the factory. Factory, you have to be, like, extremely overpowered to even, like, think about going to it. Because we've tried it. I think we want to put to the bottom of the deck. Uh, I think the Exhum still needs to go down there. Because I, I kind of want to keep upgrading the Alpha one. Alright. Thunderclap. Then we'll play the Iron Waves. Pretty much the Iron Waves now make up most of our defense. So we need to keep that in mind when we, as we go through here. So here, I didn't realize I already killed him. Um, this is going to go to here. Come on, cold. If I play it, I don't know what it does. Exactly. Double tap. Iron Wave. Cleave. Okay, so I just kind of want to play the Alpha one before I kill them all. Well, he'll come back, so. Not the best kind of. Uh, oh, that's, that's end. Alpha one, and kill him. I say this isn't the best fight for me, but as you can see, I lied. Discard, grab the fire potion. Nope. Oh, and we get the interest on the gold every fight. Ooh, spicy. All right, I want to go to that shop for sure. And that, sh eh, I don't think I really need. I, I would like just another normal shop, honestly. What does it look like it? So we definitely want to go to this one. And we'll take out this lead as we go through. Lose all gold, retain red mask. No, I'm sorry. 500 gold's not worth it. Defend plus or bash. I think we'll just lose bash. Like, as good as vulnerability is, we have it in Thunderclap. Zoom, go to the bottom, get out of here. We're not friends anymore, Exhum. Double tap. Carnage. The crap out of you. I just want you gone. Do that to the repulsor. Tin block. We're good. Nine damage coming in from the exploder. We'll get him hopefully next turn. All right. Thunderclap. All for one. And then Black Plague. And that's it. Just like that, all our problems are gone. Ooh, a languid potion. Or languish. I, I've, I've always heard it as languid. I'm always conf kind of confused. Another iron wave. They're just good. They make plenty of sense to take it. Oh, hello, boys. You're very mean doggos. Alright, which one? Eeny, meeny, miny. I don't want to take 10 damage, so we'll get him dead. You, I also don't want to take that damage either, so. I'll double tap the good iron wave. Guess I could have got, what, two more damage out? Nah. 
No. That was the right move, I think. Pretty sure. I'm not calculating the math right now, though. Achoo! Uh, removal car. Okay. Double checking all those. I could, I think, exit out the ones I'm not going to use, but not too worried about it. So as good as the offer one is, I don't think it's going to get, like, insanely powerful, which is sad. Like, it's powerful enough to kill, like, normal enemies, but I don't think it will be powerful enough to kill a boss. Alright, get those in there. Kind of hurt these daggers some. Because I think we'll hit her with the big spells. Daggers will kill with the AoE. I'm going to clap. Because um, you need to die. And you need to die. And we'll take some more block. Still no all for one. Okay. We got Black Plague and Carnage in the same hand. Black Plague. Ooh. I want to... We can just kill this turn now. I was about to say, I was going to use one of the power potions if I needed to. She's dead, right? Correct? Double check. Call my math. Yes. And the daggers go away. Because she had a lot going on there that I didn't really want to deal with. Mini hand. Interesting. Not for this deck, but it's interesting. Because that, that adds that decrepit bonus. And then for every decrepit, you do more damage. And It's a good, it's a good, uh, good combination there. Did anyone equal to three times the number of relics you have? Uh, not enough. But Dolly Mirror, all for one. Question is, is it the same one? <laughs> Good. Um, remove the, the basic strike. Oh, crap. I should have removed one of the, the uh, bad things we had. Whoops. Uh, I don't think we'll hit many more leads. Yeah, none of this. Nothing else. Oh, there's another shop. Whew. Okay, first thing, get rid of, uh, I guess, shame. And then start each combat with it in my opening hand. I don't think there's anything I really care about. Intense burner could have been good, actually. I could actually... Oh, I've already skipped. I could have fought the shopkeep, actually. Took the incense burner. Omori, negate the next two curses. Pretty good. And I think we'll go for another, like two more elites if we can. Uh, yes, we will fight you. Why wouldn't I fight you? I have nothing, nothing against you. Put the exhum in the bottom. All right, double tap. You're dead. And you're hurt. And we'll sneeze. I wish the sneeze done something. Like it was like add one poison to yourself or the enemy or something. It'd be a funny use of the card. Okay, best use of my defense. Uh, I'm definitely gonna play Carnage just to get it out there. Then for I think this is the best. It's not that great of one, but it works. Take three, and then we'll regain a bunch. And all for one. Shovel we can dig now. Right at the end. So useful. Actually, we'll dig here. Light bulb, if you have any inspiration energy at the end of your turn, draw that many cards next turn. Ooh. I guess this is a reason not to play a bunch of crap cards. Like this turn. Why would I? I don't really want to play any of these. I kind of want to do Well. Actually, double tap the thunderclap. Don't play any of the other ones. Vulnerability is going to be good, but I think he's going to go intangible. He did. Now, the alpha one is going to do Jack Shart. We'll do this to you just because we can. We'll carnage just to keep it. And then we can iron wave just for the fun of it. This is going to be a, like a guessing game of getting him when he's not uh, intangible. Oh, like now. So that kills him. Yeah, that's all it was going to like come to. Play three attacks and see how to draw two cards. Ooh. Could you just go infinite with this? If you had angers, maybe. Like mostly angers in your deck. I guess that's why it's only two cards. Demon form, again, could be good. Don't need it. Uh, we'll fight a boss. Upgrade all your cards. You can no longer heal. Uh, yeah, we'll just get a fight Hex Ghost. 
Okay, don't really... Uh, Thunderclap will last... One turn till next turn? No, it'll only last this turn. I'll exhaust. We'll draw three more cards this turn. Ooh, this would definitely hurt if I didn't do something like this. <laughs> yeah. This has been a fun one. Two additional options at rest sites. Chosen randomly. Pretty good. I mean, if it wasn't so close to the end, it'd be even better. Ooh, another new one. So we have the Stalking Deviant. Okay, so these little things actually do a fair amount of damage. But they leave if you kill the big more, like the big mama. Rose Stone. Makes a glow stone a right click, one glowing for a massive reward. I don't think we'll get that, but we'll have to keep it in mind. Alright, what should we do? Oh, Transformer card. If that was combine a card together, um, I would combine both of the offer ones. And we would have a field day. Oh, I put double tap at the bottom instead of exhum. Whoops. Not fun. Uh, I think that's it. Don't really need to do anything else. Do this a little at a time. All for one. Actually, we're going to do this a lot at a time. All for one. And then all for one. And then we need to make some defense. One. Drink. We should kind of try to run them out if we can. Which we can with this. And I need to do... Throw these fire potions and crap. Might as well. So he's so we'll throw this just to... Do it. Oh, we should drink this and play the carnage and... Stack up all the stuff we're like really not using, so... See if we can get the perfect. I think we did. Yeah, cool. Perfect against time eater. Proceed. I don't think we did that great. For score. Oh, 1300. It's actually not bad. Compared to like our normal like 800. Nice. Took two attempts, but this has been an all for one victory. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, you can hit that like button. Or subscribe if you want to see more. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.